Welcome to Intuitive Tarot with me, Mama Cole. Today I'm going to be reading for the star sign of the fire sign, and that is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. If what I'm saying in the reading doesn't resonate towards you, then that means it's just not for you today. Um, but do look um, at your sun, moon, and rising signs. Um, this may not resonate, but another star sign will. So this is for your sun, moon, and rising. I'm going to be doing my usual decks, which is the Karen Kay Oracle of Fairies, the Light Seers Tarots, and my Everyday Witch one. is one of my favourites, especially now coming up to Halloween. I've got my new tea light in, which is like a witch's broom. And then these are meant to be like little pumpkins. So I'll light them today. It is really boiling in here today as well, so it's like a beautiful day out. But um, I'm having like a little get together with um, one of my old school friends that I haven't seen in a really, really long time. And um, she's bringing her kiddies round, and um, I'm making a ton of party food. So it's really, really hot. <sighs> really, really hot. Um, just like your fire signs. Mm -mm. So this is for Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Let's get started. Let's set shuffling the channels. Okay, just one for that one. Spirit guides, guardian angels, Aries and loved ones. Please protect me and my forge during this reading. Divine messages for my fire sign subscribers, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I remember your last reading was. Um, ooh! Somebody's gonna come and talk to you, or you're gonna reach out and talk to somebody picked it up because you was gonna the love of your life you'll be thinking of somebody and you was gonna reach out to somebody but I think the last reading was all about the chariot are you gonna be going towards the love of your life can you not hold back any longer Start with the Light Seers Tarot. Put the glass on so I is not blind. Let's get started. And at the bottom, we've got the Eight of Wands. Communication. These are messages for my. Fire sign subscribers, that's Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. My wonderful, passionate fire signs, I was going to say. Yeah, Page of Wands. And we have the Five of Pentacles. So you're all up in your head at the moment because you're 
you're keeping an eye on somebody or somebody's keeping an eye on you but I think you fire signs have got your eye on somebody in particular and I think you're seeing how well they're doing, how good they're looking, seeing them all over social media, something about their voice, you find their voice very, very calming, very, very calming. But you're, you're all up in your head and you're in this strange place for you because I see a fire sign as being very passionate, you know, you're like this, like, a bit of an adrenaline junkie really and you kind of live life to the max and if there's anything like, or anywhere fun and exciting to go, you'd be going there. And to have the five of pentacles, this means you're you're all up in your head and you're worried about telling this person how you feel. But at the bottom of the deck I've got the page of cups. You just want to open up and wear your heart on your sleeve and you want to free yourself and be with this person because you've loved this person for, for a long time and you want to tell them exactly how you feel but you're scared because if you take this leap of faith What happens if it doesn't work out? And I feel like there's other factors. There's other factors that you're worried worried about. The what ifs. What if it does work out? What if everything does go to plan and this is your love of your life and all those feelings of unconditional love that you've been feeling for this person? What if your gut is right? This is the love of your life. And if you move forward, if you get out of your comfort zone, which fire signs normally do, and you take this leap of faith, bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups. I just, what I've just seen is somebody just knocking on somebody's door and going to see the love of their life and, and literally saying, it's you, it's always been you. Nobody compares to you, you mean so much to me. the love of my life. I'm crazy about you. I can't take this anymore. I cannot take this anymore. This person is stepping out of their comfort zone and even though they've they've been through heartache and they've been through these really really hard times I think that they've taken this break and I think this is why the communication is coming forward because they've healed that broken heart they've come to terms with why the, their relationships didn't work out before they're understanding that the people they were with before were karmics and the reason why they feel for you this intense passion and and lust and love and it's like when they go to sleep just before they go to sleep they think of you they dream about you they wake up and they're thinking about you they want this new life with you
for the Two of Swords. You know, this woman, she's calm, but what she doesn't realise is that she could easily remove the blindfold from her eyes and see what she needs to see. You might be scared of the unknown, but sometimes the unknown can be beautiful. There comes a point in time where we need to let all those things that you've been holding us back go. Ten of Wands. Letting go of all those burdens. You know, the Ten of Wands is about this person that's climbing this mountain and they've been to hell and back. And all these wands are all these different really really hard situations that they've been in they're going to take all these things and they're going to chuck them in that tower and that tower is going to go up in flames everything's ready in the oven i'm going to have to take a little break there's a cat holding on for dear life and it's kind of reassuring the person it's like everything's going to be okay after this you've done what you need to do Right, I'm going to take a little pause, it is going to cut to my next bit, because um, I'm going to have to do that out, because it's going to burn otherwise. So, right, so you're at a tower, you're about to walk up to the tower, about to get rid of all these burdens that are holding you back, that are holding you down, because you've had enough of them, they're stressing you out. They're not helping you in your life. So you're going to chuck them in that tower, let them go up in flames, release them. And that's amazing. That's amazing that you're letting go of all these things that are holding you back, all these burdens in your life that you don't no longer need. But you're scared. I'm finding it in the cards. I can feel it in the cards. Can, you know how much you feel for this person and you know how much you want to step forward and show them how you feel but you kind of like oh but if I do that what will happen the devil I was hoping that the devil wouldn't come back out in your reading this time I was really, really hoping you wouldn't, you wouldn't come back out. You've got somebody in your life that is not very nice, very controlling. Um. The devil on this card is a, a male. Um, but I don't see that. I see this as um, a masculine energy, and it could be, I might be speaking to a female that is um, living in her masculine energy that's very powerful, you know. I see this as a, a male masculine with a female in their life that's very toxic and very controlling. It's like my way or the highway kind of thing. What I'm seeing is somebody working really, really hard to earn their money. I'll try and So somebody's very hard at work, earning a really good wage, but this devil's like, oh, thank you, I'll just take that. Yeah, I'll take, oh, I need that. I've got to, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, I've got to do this. I 
and you were like, yeah, but I need it for this. But it's kind of like, well, you don't matter. And you're really sick and tired of them taking advantage of you. Really sick and tired of it. It's either family or there's like a group of people around you. I see there's a group of people around you. Some of them you can trust your life with then there's other people that are very they're very manipulative and I feel like they're in your ear telling you things like you'll be happy about something and they'll try and put that down and then you're like well I was really happy about that and I that's really good and I've been It's like, say this love interest, right? You're like, oh my God, they reached out to me or you got a picture, they sent you a picture or something and you've been speaking to this love interest. You would tell this manipulative person, oh my God, they reached out to me, they've said this to me, they've said that to me, oh my God. Like I really see, me, see myself with this person. And then they would be like, oh yeah, but I heard this about that person. I heard this about the love interest. Oh, I hear, I th I've heard they're with somebody else. They're not. Oh, I, I've, I've heard they're not even interested in you. They are. Your love interest, the person you're thinking of right now, the person you think of while you're in work, loves you as much as you love them. And you know it. And this manipulative person has been trying to keep you two apart for a long time. And I think you know that. Because if you went off with this person and you two came together, then this, manip this manipulative person wouldn't have control of you anymore. They wouldn't have your money anymore. They wouldn't have you running around from anymore. And I feel like you have moved away from this person because it was just too much. Like you couldn't even live with this person. It was just like, right, I cannot take your SHIT anymore. It's too much. Your, you've already made so many leaps and bounds to distance yourself from this person and you've done incredible getting over what they've done to you in your life because I feel like it's really emotional stuff it's like how they were you were like okay I don't want to have relationships like that okay yeah but I don't want to be like that They got their claws in you. This there's a cat in this um masculine's legs and he's like <coughs> Yeah, they got their claws in you. And the girl that's next to this male is like, it's gonna be okay. She's like looking up worries. I f oh my god. I just, I just seen, okay, for some of you, you've known your love interest since you were really, really young, because there's like two teenagers here, so you've known each other for a really long time. You felt, the wow. Okay, releasing that energy. Just so I can talk for a minute, thank you. When you was with this person, you 
felt at home, you felt really, really relaxed. But there was people around you. There was people around you controlling everything that you do. And you're, you're walking away from that now. You have done, you did it a while ago. You've really, really worked on yourself and you should be proud of what you achieved. Really proud of what you've achieved. I feel like you had some time apart. For some of you, this is this is it. the person you're wanting back in is. I see it as a new love, but for some of you, I feel like it's an old love that's coming back as a new love because you're totally different people now. Totally different people. But I see there like a like a connection. You, you understand, sorry if that's really loud, that oven, I'm so sorry. Um, you understand about what this relationship is now. It's like you've seen the potential that this could be. And you're walking away from your current situation to come in towards your love interest. Because I think they're, they're going through a hard time as well and you can't take it anymore. You need to be there to support them. And you've had that time to yourself where you've you've healed everything that you've gone through and you've you know had those nights where you're on your own and you've really worked through everything it's like you've wrote this list in your head oh yeah but you know this is good about that person oh my god that's really good about that person and you've gone over all the good times and the bad times oh why did that happen and I think for a long time, you blamed this other person for everything, for everything you blamed them. And I think for the first time, because you took time to work on yourself, you see in that it wasn't all the other person and because of this toxic person, you did things out of frustration And I think for a while you just want, you just needed to be free because you were controlled so much in your life you just wanted to be free but you also wanted a relationship so you were really confused for a really long time because you wanted to take this leap of faith and be with this person but you also wanted to enjoy your life and I don't know go out and be with lots of people. <laughs> Communication is coming in. <laughs> it's time to live your life. It really, really is time to live your life. I just want to elaborate. I can see that you're you're moving forward. I just want to elaborate to make sure this um, karmic family member is out of your life. Could you um, elaborate on the devil energy, please, for this fire sign? Always leave. to be quiet. 
you real quick for a minute. again is communication the four of wands celebration the ace of cups the five of wands the ten of cups person that this reading is for, you go to a mountainside and you look out at the water, you've sat there and you've cried, you've gone there and you've been happy, you, you know, this is where you go to feel free and you've called out your love interest there. I think you've spoke to them at some point, or if you haven't spoke to them, you've been up on this mountain side. You've been connected, there's something about being connected. It's like I see you there and you're connecting in some sort of way. I think you're channeling, wow, if you are, you are both very very spiritual and if that's the case then this is massively divinely guided if you're both that spiritual to connect like that it's like people like that i'm right i know i'm right even the oven just told me i'm right don't catch your flies don't catch your flies don't do it don't do it make a pony um right don't distract yourself talk right Patch, lie down. No, come on. You're not doing it. No, no. Um, you and this person don't even have to text on the phone. You don't even have to call each other on the phone. You can talk to each other telepathically. You'll get really, really naughty thoughts about times. Okay. For a number of you, and get in that you got really, really, like all of a sudden out of nowhere, you'll be like really busy in work or you'll be at home minding your own business watching TV and you'll get like a really naughty thought in your head and you're like, why the hell am I thinking like this? Hmm? And you'll think about a time when you were intimate with this person. And if you haven't been intimate with this person, you just get really raunchy thoughts in your head. And it's because your love interest is sending you those thoughts. Oh. You are so spiritually connected. In the fifth round, you two are married, you're together. And I think you're... In the fifth round, you're both guiding each other on the earth plane to be like, right, come on, get together, get together, because it's amazing up here, get together, get together. And that's why you're feeling this, like, push towards each other. But I feel your love interest is pushing you and guiding you and helping you to move away and to end this toxic situation because there's somebody here that's crying. There's somebody else in the background like, what the hell's going on? But then there's a witch here where I feel this is you. And you're like, I'm gonna blow all this up. I'm gonna sort this out once and for all. You no longer control me. You can't take my money anymore because it's my money. I've earned it, it's not yours. And I feel like you're standing up against them. 
You don't want to be controlled anymore. You just want to be free. They've done it, they've done it for long enough. It takes a lot to stand up to somebody like this, and you've done it. And because you did it, you are getting major, major blessings from the universe. There is a tornado in the background, and it reminds me of the Wizard of Oz. You know, you want to get sucked up that tornado, and they're gonna bring you to your love interest and you're going to be home there's going to be celebrations you're going to tell this person with the ace of cups your cup overfloweth with love you're going to be so happy there's going to be lots of celebrations because Underneath, happily ever after. You've known all along that this is where you wanted to be. Growing old together, being with somebody that is just there for you through thick and thin. both quite similar in your personalities. It's like I see that you're both playful together, you both joke and you laugh and you've got lots of banter between each other. But then I see that there's also like a a really soft side to you both and I think you don't show many people that soft side like th this person you do it's like I see that you're both going to have pet names for each other it's like you want to hold each other's hands I see somebody just just sat there watching TV or watching a film and you just can't help but like have contact with each other you're just like stroking each other's arms or just like holding each other's hands or just being with each other and just showing each other affection just spending as much time together as a family I, I do see these children here. It looks like two boys. Guys, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Now we're going to put these cards out because I didn't know what to do with them. So I am going to put them out. Especially the Ten of Cups, because that is absolutely beautiful. But how could I not put that card out? It'd be crazy not to put the Ten of Cups out, eh? So, I'm gonna just elaborate quickly. I hope this isn't really long. Sorry guys, it keeps on, the camera keeps on shutting off. Right, quickly do this so it doesn't go out anymore. This, when you come through, give your relationship a chance. I don't know, right, that way, that way, yeah. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So, for those of you who wanted to ask, is the relationship that I've been 
asking for is the person who I'm trying to call in is that the person I'm meant to be with it's telling you to give your relationship a chance so yes it is passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens I told you separation time apart from time apart from your partner is on the horizon I think you are apart right now and I think you've been apart for a really long time but I feel that you're you're coming back together. I feel that. And I think you both feel that pull. So yes, you have been in separation, but you are coming back together. I definitely see that you're, you're both gonna be together around Christmas, for sure. celebration New Year's you cross watchers remember rules can be reversed just wanted to tell you that <laughs> too many so which one do i take because it's three in both files i don't normally take that much yourself for income and abundance release any mental blocks release release any mental blocks you may have in fairy land and in human land there is enough abundance for everybody hope hope is always there even if we can't see it optimistic expectations can help help change a negative situation into a positive one you know if your gut is telling you that you and this person belong together that your love interest loves you just as much as you love them just because you have negative feelings about them or you're like oh yeah but what ifs the what ifs you need to just let go of for a, i don't know a few days Every time you have a negative feeling, just release it and think of something positive about this person. He's fly catching, sorry. Lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I just said that. I just can somebody pat me on the back, like. What was once lost 
is about to be found, thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realised were lost. You thought that you and this person, or you thought you would never get the love of your life, you never thought that you'd meet your soulmate, but for most of you, I think it's somebody coming back. You, you thought that you'd lost this person, you thought that you'd never ever reconnect with this person. It's here. And I'm so happy for you. Ask for help. Angels and celestial beings who protect everyone and fairies say, now is the time for you to ask for an angelic assistance. Some people feel really stupid speaking to their fairies. When I grew up my nan was always saying that my freckles were fairy kisses and we were protected by fairies. She always used to say that when we were growing up. So for me it doesn't feel weird. It just feels normal. If you feel better speaking to God or whoever you believe in that is divinely guided to help you, ask for assistance during this time. You know, ground and protect yourself, like I said before, and ask to be guided and assisted during these times because I feel like you, you and your love interests are about to come together. Motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urges you to spring into, into action. <laughs> if there's something you've been merely thinking about, they say get busy and do it. Reach out to this person, message them, ring them, email them, write them a letter, reach out think that you've been wanting to see this person for a long time and it's really scared you. This is going to be an amazing thing. This is really, really going to be an amazing connection. An absolutely amazing connection and you deserve it. Every single bit of it. Because I know that you've been to hell and back. You, you've not had an easy ride of it and you deserve happiness you really really do no more spilt cups just the two of cups you taking this person on a date meeting up and working on your friendship and building on that friendship making sure that you have this really sturdy foundation and then you're both going to try and hold back, you're both going to try and take it slow, but there's going to be so much passion and so much love for each other that it's just going to go because you're madly in love with each other. This is two people that love each other unconditionally and I feel like that young couple are coming back together. You're gonna be, you're gonna be both blown away. It's like your love interest has gone away and become your dream person. It's like everything you always wanted in somebody, this person is, and you're like, oh my god, whoa, wow, whoa, oh my god. <laughs> oh. And they may be different from your usual type as well. But you love it. And you can't wait to get your hands on it. I really, really hope you enjoyed this read and it's enlightened you. It's really, really helped you. And I send you as many blessings and protection and, and love as I can. I'm so happy for you that this is happening. I'm so, so happy. I'm coming up to winter as well. It's just beautiful. 
it's really really beautiful um, thank you for your continued love and support um, write down below um, who this resonates towards um, I'd love to hear from you guys thank you so much I'll see you next time bye lovelies may love and light guide you